fucking hell. Why won't this brat just sleep already? <laughs> Kachan, don't hold him like that. And don't say bad words near him. Here, let me carry him. You must be so tired. You should go rest. Look at your eye bags. Our baby's usually this noisy. Shh, why are you crying, baby? You're making your mommy exhausted every night, you know? Uh, <laughs> yes, just like that. Aw, you stopped after I carried you. You love your daddy that much? Irritated. Oh, you fucking little shit. Kachan, I told you to stop cussing. Katsuki Bakugo has a new rival. Kachan, I'm back. Sorry for coming home so late. There's suddenly a... Ah, monster? Kachan, what the hell are you doing? Happy birthday, Izuku. Seriously, Kachan, how corny. You really waited for me just to do this? Are you supposed to be my birthday gift? Look down. Uh, hi. What the hell? Please tell me this is a joke. I can't do this right now. I'm serious. Put the cake on the table. Is that a yes? Uh, shit. How the hell did this happen? I thought the nerd said he wore protection. Damn, Apple with his rut. But we were indeed pretty intense last time. Oh, harder! Oh. Yes! Uh, oh! But now let's think about it. How would Izuku feel about this? The nerd is very kind and caring, and he loves kids. I'm sure he wouldn't mind it that much if I got pregnant like this. But still, this brat is unplanned. It's a damn accident. Wait, fuck, I shouldn't call it an accident. That's just wrong. But still, even though he loves children, he also loves to tell me how he often get paranoid regarding these stuff about family, saying he's not ready to be a dad yet, or we're too young. For God's sake, we're 23. How is that young? It should be at enough age to start a family. Ugh, he's a damn monster in bed, but he acts like an innocent child sometimes. But importantly, what then? What will happen after I tell him? Will he accept? Will he reject the baby? But if he does that, so what? Will he tell me to get rid of it? He can't be that heartless, can he? But the possibility is endless. He basically got those split personalities and stuff. Kachan, I'm home! Kacha! Or maybe I'll just die. At first, I thought... Don't you think we're still too young? That this was the start of an end. But it turns out that I was wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I didn't think about your feelings. It was all a misunderstanding that we should have solved sooner. Everything was actually... the start to a new beginning. <laughs> Deku, it's positive. What? Um, that's great. This is gonna be our sixth fucking child. The more the merrier. Stop knocking me up! This doesn't actually happen, it's just Kotsky's nightmare. This is terrible. How can he do it? I need to tell Togachan before someone else does. Togachan, I. Tomorrow, I have to get married. I can't believe he's deciding who I must love. <laughs> Oh, Chaco, please don't cry. We'll talk to him. He won't understand. He never did in 17 years. Never. Please smile. You taught me to do it in the worst situation. Don't worry. We'll find a way. We always do. I won't leave your side. Never. <laughs> Here you are. Can I sit? Kachan, sure. I want to give you this back. I kept from, you know... I have to leave the village tonight. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? You're getting married, I won't see it. Maybe not as best man, but... Stop, Kachan, you know it is not like this. The only person I want by my side as friends, as inspiration as lovers? Well, I have nothing to lose at this point. It's always been you. So do I. <clears throat> Papa Bill! Kachan, you two look adorable. Let me take a photo. Okay, but keep for yourself, nerd. Sure, Kachan. Some day later, TV news, the soft side of the hero dynamite. Deku! <laughs> Kachan? I know it is you. Huh? You can come here. <sighs> Why are you following me, Kachan? Not your business. Instead, since we are here, why have you left me? We have talked about it, Kachan. After what they have done to you because of me, I don't want it to happen again. This is not a effing reason! It's not your fault! Plus, we are heroes, it's our job, and I'm ready to die for it if it's necessary. But, we promised to do it together. A duo, remember? Do you want to know why I'm following you? Because I'm effing scared that something happens to you and I'm not there to save you. <laughs> you don't understand! I don't want to lose you, Kachan. I, I can't imagine a world without you! And I don't want a life without you, so... 
Give me a second chance and be my cry nerd. <laughs> Catch on! Oh, here it is, my hero! Mom, I'm fine, I swear. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't forget your bento, Izuku! Huh? I always followed you from behind. I never stopped. Believed that one day I would have reached you. But I never thought I could be so close to you forever. <laughs> Hey, Deku, have you seen my mochi plush anywhere? No, I haven't seen. Goodbye! A few seconds ago. Without that mochi plush, what will I hug to sleep tonight? Well, you can hug me to sleep if you want. I don't mind. Ah, my heart is so pounding after we did this. I can't believe we are on a date and sharing crepes together. Does does the crepe taste good, Oroka-san? Uh, uh, yes, it tastes really good. I... Mm, what's wrong, Oroka-san? He looks so cute! Mm. <laughs> oh, is she asking me to kiss her on her cheek? We are on a date, so a couple should usually do this, right? I think she is waiting. Huh? What I mean is that there is food on your cheek, Deku-kun! Uh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood and kissed your cheek. No, no, it's okay. I should have just told you. Oh, Chaco's cheek is so soft! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Uh -huh. What's wrong? You don't like it? Uh, it's not that I don't like it. Uh? I'm just worried that you may get sick if you wear like that. Oh, uh, sorry. Good luck on your mission, Deku! Wait, Uraka-san! What's wrong? Um, before I go on the mission, can you kiss me? Sure! He is so cute! If Uraka-san doesn't kiss me at least ten times, I won't be able to go on this mission! Uh, 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 Kashan, I think we should stop. Huh? Why? It's just, I can't do this anymore. We can't do this anymore. We're not allowed to. Who the hell forbid you? N no, it's just, it's just, I'm a human while you're a demon. We're two different beings that are not allowed to be together. Still can't stop me from loving you. No! I don't want them to take you away from me! Please, I don't want you to leave me alone. Then come with me to hell! Uh, happy birthday! So, we kind of don't know what present to give on your birthday. Mm-hmm. Huh. Wait, why are you smiling? You're not mad? <laughs> Honestly, being with you guys is the best present ever! Why me? Uh, here we go again. I'm here too, you know? Gosh, on. Deku! Welcome back! God, I miss you so much! Do you really have to work in America for fucking months? Sorry about that. I know I have to come back even though I have some additional works left. But now we're here! We miss you too, Kachan. We? <laughs> oh my fucking god. K Kachan? Fuck, why won't you tell me about it? Why are you suffering alone without me? Kachan, it's okay! Shit, I'm such a terrible husband! Kachan, listen. It's okay now. We're finally here. <laughs> Here's your tea. Thanks, Kachan. <laughs> Heavy and hard, isn't it? If only I'm with you at that time. God, this again? I told you I'm fine. Everything that happened is in the past. Look, you even got some eye bags because of me. It's still my fault. It's no one's fault. It's mommy's fault. It's mommy's fault! If only you came earlier, then daddy and grandma will be worried too much! Uh, but mommy's here now. You miss me that much? You want a hug? Hmm. Come on, brat. Don't be all shy like that. I thought you are usually waiting from the window. D daddy <laughs> It's okay, honey. You can still be angry at me, but I promise I'll take a break and be home more often. Plus, now we have your little sister. I... I guess. Don't you dare say a fucking word. Mom, um, Jade, it's been a while since he actually hugged me. I did Wow, this is nice. Ugh, I can't breathe. LMA, you actually cry because of this? What a lame-ass nerd. It's not like that. I still can't fucking breathe. I'm a hulk. Meh. Izuku, Brett, where the hell are you guys? Shh. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Hmm? Ah, welcome home, Kachan. 
His quirk just manifested! What happened? And why are you crying? Though it looks like he accidentally hurt himself when that happened. Of course I'm crying! My baby is hurt! <sighs> Listen here, Brad! Don't you dare think you're awake just because of that! And why are you crying? Aren't you a man? Pain is what makes you stronger! <sighs> when you finally control it, you'll be able to do these! Kanchan, be careful! It's dangerous inside! And there's a child! And who turns off the lights? Whoa! Oh my god, Mihaki, don't get too close! LMAO, who the fuck turns on the light? But, but it's always hurtful when I do that! Uh, I, I always think positively that I'll be okay when I do it again! But it's always the same! I did it until I accidentally made my palms bleed! Mommy, Daddy, what's wrong with me? Is my body not suitable enough for my quirk? There's nothing we can really do about it. So that's it? Is there still other alternative ways to help my son? Please, I don't want to see him suffer like this. I will do anything. Well, the only way to make his body stronger is by injecting a certain liquid. But doing that is count as an illegal and dangerous act. Then why are you telling us that utter bullshit? Call Chan, calm down. But there is a little chance that Mihaki will develop a second quirk. A second quirk? A second quirk? Correct. In some rare cases, a child might develop a second quirk, which is the other parent's quirk. Still confused, huh? 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 For example, Mihaki here developed Mr. Dynamite's quirk. There's a chance that he will develop Mr. Deku's quirk as well. I can't imagine how strong he'll be with both the one or duo's quirks! My quirk, huh? But I was born quirkless. Though he might get his grandma's quirk instead. The probability is less than zero. I'm sorry, I promise I ain't a pet. I'm just amazed and excited! The fuck you mean we don't understand? We're just pretending for the sake of the plot, and the fuck is that reaction? I'm sorry, Mihaki. All I can hope is for your body to get stronger. Later at home. Second quirk, huh? We already know that the probability is lower than 1%, knowing the fact that you're born quirkless. I know. But hell, who knows if he wants to be a hero or not in the future. But if he does want to be a hero, I'll make sure to get him a suitable support kit. Huh? Ah! ah! Oh. Uh? Uh? Kachan, is he really mine? I don't remember having a telekinesis-related quirk. Didn't he, like, come out from you? Of course he is. He probably inherited something related to Inko's quirk. That means my mom's quirk skipped a generation? Skipped me? Not fair! <laughs> Chill out, are you seriously crying? Damn hormones. The League of Villains only wants you because you have a rich dad. They have a brilliant inventor, that is, I. But there is no money for a supplier of materials for creating terrorist weapons. Aren't they pathetic? They took you hostage without even knowing what kind of relationship you have with your father. You ran away from home when your mother went crazy, right? Everyone knows you as the son of a successful Shoto. But only I know the truth, because you mistakenly considered me your friend. It's so funny. I wonder why you surrendered to the League of Villains so easily. Did you decide to return me to the Air Pirates? Huh. <laughs> right. By any means I will. Bring you home because you are my friend. <laughs> what nonsense are you spouting? Friends? I will make you think otherwise. If you flinch, I'll blow you up. Hey, don't overdo it. We already stopped the thieves. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do. Doesn't it piss you off that we don't get more difficult assignments? How courageous! Midoriya, can you manage without us? Yes, we only need to hand over the criminals to the police. Okay, then Bakugo and I are counting on you guys. Hey, what the fuck? You completed my task so quickly. Yes, my lord. I think you deserve an award for good work. To serve you is my reward. It really is. <laughs> hey, get the bathroom ready. My puppy needs to be cleaned of dirt. Puppy? You excel as always. I was afraid that I would never see you again, because you are a special slave for me. But you still brilliantly cope with my task. I still don't deserve that kind of attention from the Lord. Hey! I completed your order and brought you proof. Oh, good dog. Well, how are you? <laughs> don't worry, I haven't forgotten that I promised to reward you. Well, you finished my task so quickly. Did you really want to get yours so badly? No, I really didn't count on anything. I serve you only because of my loyalty to you, my lord. To serve you is my reward. <laughs> mm. 
So, I fucking did not understand. I just sent you to the store, what the hell? Bakako, it happened unexpectedly when I was walking down the street. I just happened to run into a man and he apparently activated his quirk out of fright. I did not have time to understand what happened, and I was immediately divided into two personalities. What do you mean by two personalities? I may be wrong, but it seems that one of us has the best qualities and the other the worst. Don't fucking act innocent. The man said that the quirk effect would wear off in 10 hours, but that won't interfere with our plans, will it? You and I only have one day off. We haven't been able to for too long. Hey, I'm actually his boyfriend. Idiot. We are one and the same person. I do not care. I'm not going to share it even with myself. Are you even listening to yourself? <laughs> Let's do that. Our captain passed out so quickly. It turns out he's a weakling. Don't talk nonsense. He drank more than all of us. Our esteemed captain is now in such a pitiful form in front of his team. Take care of him, first mate. I know it without you. Bakugo, why are you so drunk? Wow, he's cute when he sleeps. Mm. I'm home! Uh. Welcome back. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you seriously crying? Uh, I'm sorry, you guys are just too cute! Stop hugging me, you'll squish the baby! You loved her, didn't you? W what? How did you- Of course I know. The way you looked at her. It's so obvious. You always get flustered whenever you talk to her. Uh. Kachan, what makes you think of that? I don't know. We're not even dating. Why am I even saying this? Kachan is jealous. Just go propose to her already. Huh? I saw you brought a ring earlier before we came here to talk. You're finally gonna do it, huh? Kachan, why would I brought you here if I want to go propose to her? Of course, ask for advice. You're always so dumb that you need me every single damn time. You're the dumb one here! I brought you here so I could propose to you! You're the one I love, Kachan! Only you! What? I love you, Kachan! Please be my forever partner! I know you feel the same way, too! Uh, okay. Then why are you keep on blushing at round face? I, uh... Were you trying to cheat on me? No, of course not! Why would I? Uh, uh. Why am I the one who wears the dress now? You look cute. <laughs> That's it. Give me a white suit now. Deku, I'm afraid that these past few days I've been cheating. Oh, wow. Same. <laughs> First April. <laughs> if you know the look on your face. 18th March. Wait, what? Hey, why are you crying? S some kids just b bullied me because my quirk came late. Hey, don't listen to those losers. I know that you'll get strong like me. Maybe not stronger than me, but still. We'll be the strongest and prove those losers that they're wrong. Huh? Y yeah! We'll beat up bad guys. And be the greatest heroes ever. Why did you lie, Kachan? Okay, Izuku. This is it. Your very first date with Kachan. Don't tell him how awkward you are. Nice weather. Thank you. Fucking end me! Kachan, are you nervous? What? Um, no. You just stuttered, you know. Kachan, just tell me what's wrong. I'm your husband. Besides, we can't just ruin this date after such a long time. It's just, I don't know. I had a little thought for a while. What if... What if you leave us again? <sighs> oh, Kachan. I'm sorry I made you worried. You know only Lee to protect you guys. Trust me, I'll never leave you again. I mean, when did I ever lie to you? Wow, the food's here! It looks delicious! <laughs> but you just did. Don't cry. Just come cuddle. Lay your head on my chest. I'll rub your back and give you forehead kisses. I love you, and I don't want to see you cry. <laughs> don't cry. Just come cuddle. Lay your head on my chest. I'll rub your back and give you forehead kisses. I like you, and I don't want you to be sad. Are the pirates the one who did this to you? Huh? Do you understand what I say? Oh, this is pointless. They catches me when I just come into the sea of surface. They want to take my tail. And I was about to escape, they shoot me. God, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> it's nice knowing you could escape. You still should thank me, though. Uh, yeah. What's with that mood swing? It's creepy. 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. I really didn't expect to meet such a nice human like you. <clears throat> uh, I mean, of course. Do you want me to take you back now? You'll do that? Thank you. <laughs> Don't tell me it's already sunk in the sea. Uh, all the information I've written over the years. Where's my notebook? I remember it fell somewhere around here. Uh, my notebook! It only got wet on the cover and a few pages inside. The rest isn't wet at all. Thank you so much! Um... Human? Probably abnormal. I don't have any weapon on my body, you see? Hey, it's okay. Huh? So you don't have to be afraid of me. Uh, Wait, fish fins? Fish tails? This isn't an aboriginal person! It's a mermaid! Uh -huh. uh, uh, s -s Sorry, Daku-kun! I didn't mean to do that! My body suddenly moved on its own! I'm really sorry! Please don't be mad at me! Her lips feel so soft. I want to feel more. Rakasan. <gasps> um, can you do that again? <gasps> you pathetic excuse for a dragon! Don't you think you're maybe being a bit too harsh? Shut the hell up! Fu doesn't get to talk! And who the hell do you think you are anyway? Don't you know this mound is forbidden from humans? Oh, I'm sorry! Please ignore me! Do you have a fucking death wish? Uh, Bakugo. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry! You do not touch a dragon's horn. Huh? Help! Kiri, come here for a sec. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Why did you start talking to me like that? Why'd you hit me? Now repeat after me. You brought him back as food, right? Now say it. I brought him back as food. Sorry, man. Bakugo's being unreasonable again. Hmm. Don't say sorry to him. You know, you're being a real jerk, bro. Huh? What you say, shitty air? You heard me. Cause I won't let you keep a human! Well, why can't I? Don't you have enough already? You already have a cat, deer, and even goddamn bugs! Stop taking in every stray you find! Speaking of, where's the dumb cat? Kaminari? He's right here, obviously. Oh, shit. Um, bro, I swear he was just here. You lost him! God damn it, we need to find him before he makes his way off the mountain again! I can never take my eyes off you guys, I swear! You got lucky this time, human. If you know what's best for you, then get the fuck off my mountain! Move it, shitty hair! Huh? They're really leaving? <sighs> my name is Izuku Midoriya. I am an herbalist of sorts. I have finally found you! And I am a human. Humans are one of the only creatures born without magic. It's getting late. Instead, we have what's called magic finities. I should probably start heading back now. We borrow magic for a price, from beings such as demons and gods. Well, it's still light out. Those who accomplish this are given the titles of witches, mages, and sages, among others. However, in very rare circumstances, there will be a human born with magical powers. These individuals are greatly sought after. Kingdoms hunt them down and attempt to recruit them to their military. These powerful beings that can single-handedly tip the scales of war to their country's favor are called sorcerers. I am. None of these things. Not only was I born amongst the weak sentient species, I wasn't even born with a magical affinity. But I've always felt like I was meant for more. Oh, despite everything, I don't actually mind being human. Whoa! I get to see, study, and try to understand all of these amazing creatures. And even though we are among the weakest, we have the largest population among any species. Many say that's how we survived this long in this land, that's saturated with many powerful creatures and monsters. Even as children, we were always taught to be scared of them. Bad children get demoned away by the Fae. Werewolves hunt farmers right their own fields. Vampires come in the night and whisk mothers out of their villages. All sorts of tall tales with never any substance behind them. But among all of them, the ones that we were taught to fear the most were the Dragonkin. Enormous demonic fire-breathing beast with armor-piercing claws and scales harder than diamond. Their power incomparable to any other magical beast. Their young are said to be able to easily level forests and towns. And as adults, kingdoms topple before them. Many try to tame them. A great many. We were told that those who did succeed brought their kingdom's wealth and prosperity beyond your wildest dreams. 
but in doing so, they became too feared and the kingdoms united to forbid contact with them. As the centuries passed, the tales grew more elaborate and the stories became diluted, and Dragon Riders became just another legend. So clearly, only an idiot would ever try to invade the Forbidden Mountain and attempt to seed one. Needless to say, I am that idiot. I can't believe Rouge asked you on a date! It's not a date! She just asked me to go with her to some cool new place! Hmm, that's what a date is! No, shut up! We're going as friends! She's your friend? Uh, I, she... Oh no! You're a good guy, Knuckles. And actually, right now, I think I like you better than I like Jules. Uh, did I just say that? I'm in love with Knuckles! There, I said it! No, really? Whoa, I never would've... Gosh, that's a shocker. Hmm. What's with the jacket? This is my treasure hunting jacket, remember? Well, I found out a certain someone thought I looked good in it. So I decide to wear it more often. <laughs> He'll probably poke his own eye out. Kind of dashing, I hate to admit. Rope too short to climb anything. Or boots that still. Don't be an idiot! It doesn't look that good on you. Why did she get so aggressive? Maybe the jacket isn't for everyone. Guess I'll have to tell Amy. Who is that fine, babe? Hey, pretty princess. Uh, are you talking to me? Are there any other pretty princesses around? I'm a horrible, horrible person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, Shadow. We love you, Shadow. Thanks, guys. Uh-oh. What? Somebody's in love. <laughs> yeah, right. I just think Rouge is cool, okay? <sighs> it's not like I lay awake at night thinking about her. Uh-oh. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What? You kissed me! What the hell is wrong with you? You can't just disappear without a trace one day and then come back like nothing happened! I... I thought you were gone for good. You know taking the Master Emerald without a challenge is no fun for me. So please, don't ever do that again. So you and Knuckles really are a thing now, huh? Listen up, pretty girl. Knuckles is like a brother to me. If you break his heart, swear to chaos, I'll chase after you, find you, and send you straight to hell with my hammer, understood? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> cool. Did you see that explosion, Davy? Oh, humans knows how to have fun, right, Davy? 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 Davy! Why are you still here, buddy? The movie's over. Let's go home, big boy. Stop smoking! We have to return immediately to the base! Can I have some peace after having to endure that movie? Endure? Have you seen an ignorant beast at a cornerstone of the art of cinema? I already told you to shut up. Huh? D? D? Is Davy here? Where are you, companion of long battles? What? Why does it always end like this? Girls, look here. How long does it take? The cans are starting to get impatient, and me even more! Huh? The usual whore. J. K. V. Masha. Gabriel! Ah. Uh, Odalia. What is happening? Do you reduce Shrek scenes without me? I would say that some explanations are needed. Oh no! Not now! We are all going home and leaving the explanations for another time. Good day. But... I said good day! I like her. She's a strong woman like Barbie. I want last quarter's balance sheet in my office by tomorrow morning. No delays if you care about your job. Or your other benefits. You got that? See you tomorrow. Bye! <coughs> What's with the rush? <coughs> my poor child. Who knows what terrible trauma you had. Don't you think you're exaggerating? They're a god, aren't they? Ah! <coughs> Not all mothers are like the one of your god who leaves her child hanging to die or starvation in order to start her own career as a pop star. I think you're a little confused. And then I'm Jewish, so it's not even my god. <sighs> so you want to imitate your ancestors and make an attempt on the life of this god? We need to hire a swimming teacher. I can do it. Better professional. Even better if he's willing. We're still talking in the interest of the kid, right? Well... The I'm sure they did it on purpose. This is a nightmare! You really can't swim? Uh, I think you just want more attention. 
Sorry, sorry, don't get all depressed. Other moms worry that their kids stay safe. That's how they show they care. I know that mom secretly spies on her other children too. She doesn't need to do it with me. I'm too strong. You know, the great thing about having siblings is ganging up on parents. Follow me. Ugh, I finally managed to put myself back together. Ugh, again? Do you two want to kill me? Ugh. 